If you have watched any of the Figs Fowl Farm, you would think that all I do is fail. But you know, I learn from those failures. Yeah, that's kind of the whole point is to learn. And as a result, I have successes. And today I'm gonna to share with you all of my successes and you can rejoice with me. Well, those of us who love gardening, love to get out in the spring and we plant all of our little seeds and all of our little plants and we think about the harvest that's going to come out of all the work that we do. And we watch them all summer and we kill the little bugs and we prune them and we take care of them when we feed them. And then in the fall, we're thinking, oh, yay, we get to have a nice harvest. Well, this year has been an interesting year for me all along. And because I've tried some new things and done things differently, some things have done pretty well at harvest time. I have had so much squash, I've had to give it away to people, summer squash, just tons of it. And that's usually always the case with zucchini, but I've had lots of crookneck and other kind of squash too. And so. That's been a wonderful harvest all summer long. And I also have done really well with basil this year. I've never planted basil before and I did quite a bit of it just to make sure I could get some. And I wound up with so much basil, I don't know what to do with it. I've made pesto and froze it and I just have so much. The other thing that I've done really well with this year are my peppers. I have all kinds of peppers and the plants are just full of them. I'm not quite sure what they are, but they taste pretty good, so I'm happy with my peppers. One of the most amazing harvests that I've had that was more than I expected were my two little pumpkin plants that I planted that grew crazy all over the fence and everywhere, and I wound up with some pretty big size pumpkins. In fact, my husband could barely lift it out of the pumpkin patch over the fence because it was, I think, 18 pounds. My lemon cucumbers have done so well that I've been able to share some with my family. So I would call that a success. And the surprising thing that I've had success with are some of my melons. I really haven't grown melons too much through the years, but this year I have grown some delicious melons. Not quite sure what they are, but they are doing very well. I planted okra this year, and some of it that I've had in a good spot, not in a container, but in some good sun, I have just picked almost every day, gone out and picked okra and been able to can and pickle some. So I'm really excited about that. And overall, my tomatoes have not done too badly. I've gotten enough to make salsa and to eat them. They have been wonderful. One of the most exciting things is that I grew an eggplant from seed which is kind of hard to do because you have to keep that little seed at a certain temperature over a long period of time or it won't germinate and grow. And I was successful with that and my plants grew and I got several eggplant and that's one of the most exciting things because I didn't go buy the plants from a nursery. I grew them myself. Some things that I planted were really struggling at the beginning, but then in the end, I have gotten lots of them. I have had lettuce all summer long. Usually I would grow it in the spring and then once it started to bolt, I would be done for the year. But this year, through my experimenting, I continued to plant lettuce all throughout the summer and I've had fresh salads all summer long. And I'm getting potatoes. Yes, and not just potatoes, fingerling potatoes. Oh, they are the yummiest and the best. 
potatoes of all. I also have new potatoes and purple potatoes and I've been harvesting some of those. So overall, I would say a pretty successful gardening season in some ways for some things. <laughs>